so you've just had a baby and you've come home and you uh, would love to get back into some form of exercise. And you know, you hear this talk about waiting for six weeks. That is what's put out there, but really it's listening to your body and seeing when the time is right for you. There is no right or wrong. It is just more when it's right for your body. Depending on what exercise you did before you were pregnant, you won't be able to go straight back into that. And it's really important to start to understand that you can't go straight uh, straight back to what you were doing. You need to spend time to to recover and heal and strengthen. You know, your all the muscles that were affected from pregnancy. When I first had, I remember, you know, with my daughter, I couldn't even walk up the street. You know, I, and that was that was enough for me. And you know, where where I run, you know, so so that's it's just it's just time. But what is so important is to really focus on rebuilding your core strength and starting to and and really starting from from the bottom layer of your core all the way out. The transverse abs are what's the most important. They are a muscle that is a lot of times ignored because you can't see them. People think, well, you know, why work them? But it's really important to uh, to strengthen from the inside out. So when you strengthen the transverse abs, you know, we strengthen from, and then we, and then we work our way out, uh, everything else falls into place really easily. But what I see with lots of mums is because they've not spent the time to work on their transverse abs, because they've not spent that time, they, uh, they miss that part and then the, the rectus abdominis, the one straight under your chest, they just switch on first. We still have that mum pooch type thing because we've really not learned to switch, to switch our core on properly. Uh, if we spend the time doing the slow, boring work, more than, you know, it's, it's, it's just this time at the, at the start, but it more than uh, benefits you for everything else in life. And then you can end up doing all those crazy things you really enjoy, you know, you might really enjoy doing or you were doing beforehand. And what I tell, uh, you know, lots of our clients is that you actually become stronger. You become stronger than what you ever were. So, so you're a new mum, you've just come home from, you know, your hospital and you would like to start doing some things. So there's some things that uh, you can start doing straight away, just focusing on you, you know, and really thinking. So I'm just gonna show you some things you can try. So first of all, what I really recommend to do is to just focus on pulling up your pelvic floor. Okay, so we want to focus on the connection and uh, your pelvic floor is connected to transverse abs. So we want to focus on getting that connection first. Now you can do that as long, as soon as you feel comfortable. Remember there is no right or wrong, it is just when it feels right for you. How it helps me imagine it is I imagine that I have a jelly bean here and I'm holding a jelly bean here in place. So I'm going to hold the jelly bean here and I want to hold it here and I'm going to pull up the levels. So I'm going to imagine I've got an elevator and I'm in a, you know, in a tall story building and I'm going to pull up the levels. Now we want to pull up to level one, so to speak and we want to be able to hold it there. Now you don't want to be able to hold it there and you don't want to be holding your breath. So you want to be able to hold it there and you want to be able to, um, to breathe out. You want to be able to talk whilst you're still holding, okay? Now when you first start doing this, especially after pregnancy, it's going to feel really, really hard and you might only be able to hold it for a second. That's fine. So that's fine. That second will turn into five seconds, which will turn into 10, which will turn into longer, which will turn into you coming up the next level. So, so just focus first on pulling up from your pelvic floor. So that's switching your pelvic floor on and just learning to hold. And like I said, you can do this anytime. So you can do it laying down, sitting up, and you want to practice it in all different um, scenarios because you're not always going to be laying down perfectly. You know, a time that we generally, uh, and that's why you want to also be able to do it on an outward breath or whilst you're talking, because you're not going to be laying down holding your breath um, all the time for your life. So the times that lots of people end up wetting themselves is when they sneeze or any of those things. So, so that would be the first thing that I would practice is switching on that pelvic floor. The next thing I want you to practice is pulling in your transverse abs. So the transverse abs corset around your body. So pull around, all right, so pull around and we, we are going to pull them 
just focus on zipping them up and pulling them in. So that's it, we're gonna zip around and pull them in. Okay, so pelvic floor on, pulling in, so like pulling in around these transverse abs, pushing your belly button to your spine. So that stuff uh, is, is really crucial in learning how to switch, that's how to switch core properly. And you know, lots of people can't even do that. So, so when you, if you're wanting to get back into some form of exercise after pregnancy, do that stuff. Okay, so that's my number one thing, is work on switching on the pelvic floor and then learning to switch your abs on. So we wanna switch our abs on by pelvic floor first, pulling in your transverse abs, so we're tightening the corset, we're tightening that corset in and then we're gonna push your belly button to your spine and up. It feels really complicated at, to start off with, but it will become more automatic. Going over that again, the analogy that helps me with switching on my core, as you're remembering, is like a circus tent. So we're putting up the pole of a surface tent, so that is pulling up that pelvic floor. We're closing in the sides of the tent, so we're closing in the sides of the tent, and then we're gonna zip it up, all right? So just, rem just remember that. Uh, it, analogies really help me so, uh, to, to remember to do things. So do that, so the more that you can start focusing on, on getting, learn, getting those muscles to reconnect, you know, you'll, you'll feel so much better. So that's, that's the first thing I'll try. The second thing is just think about your posture. Okay, so think about how do you walk around the house? All right, so we're holding a baby. We're gonna, we tend to sometimes be hunched over and all of those things. So I just want you to think about, I'm gonna tuck my hips in, keep my shoulders back. So we wanna have that nice posture and you can practice that straight away. So practice standing up tall, tuck those hips in, keep the shoulders back, all right? So the more that we, uh, you can focus on that posture, it will really help you uh, walk, you know, it will really help you in all your movements, especially because with a baby, we tend to, you know, especially with my first baby, I just, you know, we'd get into positions that I was too scared to move, and I would just want to hold, hold him here, and then if I was uncomfortable, I was like, it's okay, he's asleep, that's all right, you know. But, um, but yeah, so the more that we can think about that posture, you know, keeping those shoulders back, and uh, tucking those hips in, you'll be better. So that's two things. Uh, the other thing I would try is um, belly popping, all right? So this is about your transverse abs and learning to switch them on, and you really can do this, um, you know, as soon as, as soon as you feel comfortable. So before the six weeks marks, okay? So I'm letting my tummy hang out, and then I'm gonna pull it in. Hang out, pull it in. Barely popping, hang out, pull it in. So you can have your baby laying here. We can make it a little game, so I can do this. You can get some little kisses, any of those things. So pelvic floor on first, all right? Pelvic floor on first, our tummy's out. Draw your belly button to the spine, okay? So that is three things that I would start off with to help start rebuilding your core strength straight after a baby. Like